Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are going to be looking at this rocket here that we have on our desk, and we are going to be making um, the control surfaces and the landing gear of it work. So this rocket is 3D printed, and it is using an EDF to give it propulsion. So, and then it's using um, controls with the servos. I'll put in an image here. Yeah, so today I'm just gonna work on it some more. I'm just gonna get some of the, um, the Arduino maybe hopefully um, working, and we'll see how far we get. So this is just an update, a progress video. I just wanna show you guys a little bit of what I've been working on, and yeah. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so this is the rocket. I actually just um, picked it up wrong and it's all apart, but um, yeah, so it's got a ethernet cable running up it for the signal. So the electronics are gonna be housed up here in the head, and then the servers are gonna be down here. So these are gonna be the signal wires I'm gonna wire up right now. And then I'm gonna run a separate wire, the positive and negative for the servers down here. So they'll all go into this one wire that's running up and down it. I could maybe use a lighter wire so that it isn't so heavy. Another great idea. But this is what I got. So these wires are for the eight servos controlling the landing legs and thrust vector. I am soldering pins on each of the wires so I can plug them into the servos. We also need to get power to the servos. So I'm running a positive and negative wire so that each of the servos can be plugged into the central positive and negative. So we can just run two wires up the side of the rocket. This will make things much neater and much less runs of wire, which will make things lighter as well as we are building a rocket after all. Here I am fishing the wires up to the side of the rocket, which is proving to be quite challenging. <laughs> So these are the wires that connect to the central positive and negative that runs down the side of the rocket. And this will plug the power into each individual servo. And this was a long process. So here's the finished product. And now we're plugging the servos in.
It looks great, and I was able to get the server working. Now we just need to hook it up to the Arduino to control the legs at the same time. was interesting to watch and informative. So we got all our wiring and soldering all soldered up. It looks awesome. In a future video, when we work on this next, we can get um, some of the Arduino put in and after those parts get here, we can get that all finished up. So thanks so much for watching guys. If you like this video, please like and subscribe down below and have a good one. Bye.